Welcome to another video in my series on centers of mass. What we're going to look at in this particular video is how we find the center of mass of a wire framework. That is, if you get a shape where you build it up from just a piece of wire, then how do we go about finding that center of mass? Well, first of all, what we do is say, let the mass per unit length let's just write that in per unit length equals some constant and I'm going to call that constant M. So if it's a uniform wire then the mass for say this stretch through here, the 10 centimeter stretch will be 10 M and it will be located at the midpoint of this bit of wire, let's say there and we'll put that mass in as 10 M Similarly, 2 centimeters going to have a mass here in the middle, 2m. Put that up there. This one is going to have a mass of 8m. And this one down here, this 2 is going to have a mass of 8m situated in the middle. Now, we need to find out where this center of mass is going to be relative to, say, some of these edges. So what I need to do is set up some axes. It's up to you where you set up the axes. I'm going to set up an x-axis along this horizontal stretch here and a y-axis up through here. So if we aim to get the coordinates of the center of mass of this framework, let's say it's somewhere around this area. We'll mark it in as x-bar, y-bar. And that center of mass acts through this point here, C. Well, that total mass acting through C is going to be the total of these individual masses. And if we add up 10 to 8 and 8m, then what we're going to get is a total of 28m. So we've got a mass of 28m then acting through this point here with coordinates x bar, y bar. But to form the moments equation, we need the coordinates of these points. So let's have a look at some of these points then. Let's start with this 8m mass. Clearly it's halfway along here, so that's going to be at the point 4, 0. We'll mark that in as 4, 0. This 8m here is going to be 8 units across and 4 units up. So that's at 8, 4. And the 2m mass, well that's going to be 1 centimetre in from this end here, so it's going to have a coordinate of 7 across and 8 up. So mark that in as 7, 8. Now as for this one, well what we've got to think of here is similar triangles. I'll just mark in a dotted line, let's just mark in a dotted line from here all the way down through here till we hit the base here. Now that means that if I was to draw a dotted line down there, can you see that this triangle here is similar to this one out here? And because I've gone halfway up this length, then the ratio must be 1 to 2. In other words, this measurement here must be half of this measurement and this measurement across here must be half of this measurement. So in other words, the coordinates for this mass at 10m will be just 3 units across here because remember this distance is 6 so it will be 3 units across and 4 units up. So we'll mark that coordinate in at 3, 4. Now all we need to do is write out our moments equation. We can take moments about the x and y axis. And hopefully you're familiar with these moments equations. They've cropped up in my earlier videos in this series. If you're not sure, just go back and have a look at those on my website. OK, so if we start with that moments equation, it's going to be a mass of 28m. And that's multiplied by x bar, y bar. 
and that's equal to the sum of the moments then of all these particles about the x and y axis. So if we start say with the 10m, that would be 10m multiplied by 3, 4. And then we've got to add it to the moment of say this 2m mass here, 2m at 7, 8. And then this 8m mass at 8, 4. 8m at 8, 4. And finally we've got this mass 8m at 4, 0. 8m at 4, 0. So you'll notice we've got m in every term here so we could go through and cancel that out that would simplify the equation and that leaves us with 28 x bar y bar just write that in 28 x bar y bar and that equals the result of multiplying these out so if you were to do 10 times 3 plus 2 times 7 plus 8 times 8 plus 8 times 4 and add that up what you end up with is 140 and underneath here, 10 times 4 plus 2 times 8 plus 8 times 4 plus 8 times 0, well that comes to 88. So we need to divide these two numbers here by 28 to give us x bar y bar. x bar, bar y bar then turns out to be 5. 140 divided by 28 is 5 exactly, but when it comes to 88 divided by 28, let's give that as a fraction. 22 over 7 gives it the exact value rather than just a decimal. And if you wanted to give it as a coordinate, then therefore x bar y bar would equal 5 and 22 over 7. And when we look at where this is, 5 units across and three and one seventh of a unit up it looks to be in a reasonable place so that looks a good sensible answer and if you wanted to know the distances from other edges like this edge here or this edge here then it's easy arithmetic just to find out how far it would be from those edges okay well i hope that's given you some idea then how we go about working out these framework type questions just by saying that the mass per unit length is equal to some constant putting those masses on each of the straight lengths here and then totaling those masses and doing your moments equation for each of the individual particles about the axis okay